Hey everyone, I'm Tony Dunst to the World Poker Tour alongside Johnny Moreno, aka Johnny Vibes, as many people know him online. He recently flew in from San Diego here to the Seminole Hard Rock, and we're going to ask him five questions. What was your experience like recently playing in the WPT cash game? Um, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, it was a big game for me. So it was definitely on the nervous side, but it's just poker. Once you get settled in, the chips feel the same, the lights kind of just blend, and I've played on live streams plenty of times. Mm -hmm. so took a little bit, but it was fun, honestly, and I, I had a good experience. Good experience sure. and a good result, I hope. Okay, if, if we're allowed to talk Spoil about it. A little <laughs> bit of a spoiler, I know. If we're allowed to talk about it, yes, I did have a good result, so it's okay. absolutely, absolutely huge for me. What motivated you to fly on out here and play the WPT at the Seminole Hard Rock? It's interesting. My wife and I had a talk about playing live poker tournaments. It's something that I wanted to do a little bit more of. So that was the goal for 2020, and then we actually went to the Philippines. I played in the WPT Philippines. That's right. We the were first, ask about that. the first event that I ever played in for the WPT. So I was all excited to get, you know, get going. And sure. then all of a sudden, COVID happened. So this is the first opportunity since COVID. I felt like I was itching, itching to get here, and I'm glad that I did. Tell us a little bit more about your time and experience playing the WPT Philippines event. Uh, it was great. Honestly, I've never been to the Philippines, so. It was twofold. I wanted to experience a culture that I'd never been to before. Mm -hmm. Also, the buy-in is like a little bit more manageable. So I, I loved it. And the casino that it was at was absolutely beautiful. So what excites you about the possibility of playing in a WPT and vlogging the experience? Oh, I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's what the audience wants. They want to see big scores. They want to see big tournaments. They want to see my, my name etched on the cup. I know that's a huge goal, but especially with my limited tournament experience, but I don't know, they've been asking for it. And, right. and for me, it's like the next challenge that I kind of wanted to embrace. And, you know, we're just getting started. So we'll see. I, I, I'm definitely going to play some more. I mean, I think it's great that you generate so much interest in the game by having people follow along. What have your previous vlogging experiences been like here at the Seminole Hard Rock? Uh, I've only done it one other time, and it was a couple weeks ago, and it was honestly amazing. It was post-COVID, so... There's definitely a lot of um, restrictions in place, but sure. I can appreciate that. You know, everybody's in the same boat. We have to, we have to do what we can so that we can do what we love and play live poker. So yes. I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm, it was a great time. Well, excellent, Johnny. Good luck the remainder of the levels tonight, and of course going forward in the event. We appreciate your time, and uh, we'll see you next time. Maybe give me a little heads up next time. I'll dress a little bit nicer so I don't look like <laughs> a fun <laughs> You got to, you got to play in what makes you feel comfortable, though. That's the For priority. Sure. <laughs> definitely. Thanks, Later, man. man.